Spark is 214 here, and today I'm going to tell you how to tell if the CPU in a laptop is dead. Or in other words, if your laptop stops working and it had gotten very hot, well, the thing is it might be, you know, something minor or your your CPU might be dead and that's buying a new one and and buying a um, one dollar part but I have this Toshiba laptop that died last winter due to overheating and I identified that the CPU was dead because you can't see this completely well and you should never ever touch one of these with your hands. If you ever 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 handle one of these for any reason, you need to first clean the room, keep all the sun out, wear rubber gloves, and you need to look up online and buy yourself a static reducer that goes on your wrist. Otherwise, don't even touch this. Don't touch this. Uh, as you can see, uh, you can see that that white stuff you see is actually pieces of gray rubber because there is a heat sink on top of this, like always. And underneath it, there's a little rubber fitting and when I lifted up the heat sink there was gray smudges all over this shiny shiny plastic that encases the actual chip here because the actual microprocessor if you don't know is this little chip is this little shiny thing you see the whole rest of it is just a circuit board and you can tell that this is a single core processor you can see these are the underneath here these are the end conductors for the core basically they complete the circuits because the semiconductor works by having a conductor on the bottom and on the top and then you know magnetic impulses from the hard drive turn on and off certain conductors and then the core will process that into usable logic but you see these four on the side these are pipelines each one of these is a pipeline for receiving information from the CPU and the ones on the bottom are the latency lines which deliver the usable logic to hardware such as the monitor the speakers basically things that you can that you can understand the way it works here is this side of the chip uh, each each row each row of these little pins going across is what you would call a line all right and from the top here is how the information goes out because the chip sits like this the chip set like that see and then it's pipelining out this this way because this is going towards the video card and the overall bios right here and one thing is the interpreter is underneath the CPU because even though that telephone operators aren't smart people who run these companies are and they know that they know what you're thinking 
and they know that you want to open this up and then you want you want to access this pin connector that would be be right here be right here on this side and they know that you would have soldered that little wire to your little interpreter which which is a three which looks a lot like Well, you know what I'm talking about. It looks, you know, it's a square that's about this tall and has three prongs. Well, they know you want to solder that little wire, move that thing closer. See, they know what you're thinking. They know that you're sneaky. You you try to clean off the solder, push that thing back the way it was, and then send it in for award to you so to keep keep it away from busy hands it has a microchip interpreter that cannot be modified by busy hands and smart guys that's what I say even though I do do a lot of overclocking myself but yeah not but it's pretty hard to unclock to overclock laptops so that's the cooling fan, of course. These are the USB ports and the Ethernet drive. You see that this chip is a network chip. These things right here control voltage to the CPU. These little metal things right here and right here. Those control voltage. And as you can see here, this is a battery that will save your you know temporary information to be able to restore your computer. But with most of the information is saved on the RAM, which I have removed, and then Behind that there is the hard is where the hard disk connects. And over here. This is where the video driver will connect to the um, screen. Well, and it, oh, and this is a card reader right here. And the volume control. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Spartacus 214, and I'm signing out.